In this episode 4.7, we'll talk about race conditions, synchronization between OpenMP threads using critical and atomic programs. To understand why thread synchronization is necessary in shared memory program, let's implement a parallel algorithm that affects parallel reduction. In this loop, we compute the sum of all integers from 0 to n minus 1. We run this loop in parallel in multiple threads using the OpenMP functionality Pragma OMP Parallel 4. Of course, it's not necessary to perform this calculation numerically because we know the analytical expression for this sum. The result is equal to n multiplied by n minus 1 divided by 2. However, this simple example will illustrate important concepts in parallel programming and we will be able to verify the numerical result against the known analytical result. When we compile and run this application, the numerical result is just over 200,000. This is incorrect. The analytical expression predicts that the sum is just under 500,000. The situation is even worse than just an incorrect result. We actually have unpredictable result. Every time we run this program, the numerical result will be different. If we run it with different number of threads or on different processors, the range of numerical results from run to run will be skewed in different directions. This is happening because in our parallel loop we have a situation known as a race condition. The variable total is declared before the loop, so it is shared. In other words, all threads access the same memory location when they modify this variable. What might happen is explained by this diagram. Suppose thread 1 and thread 2 try to increment a shared variable concurrently. Sometimes, between the moment that thread 1 reads the variable and writes the incremented result, other threads will not access the shared variable. In this case, the result will be correct. Other times, while thread 1 was incrementing the variable, thread 2 read the old value and incremented it as well. The result will be that when the threads write out their results, the result of one of the threads will be overridden by the result of the other thread. In this case, the net total will be wrong. When a parallel code allows multiple threads to perform write operations on the same memory address, this code is said to have a race condition. This is a race in the sense that the slower thread gets its result recorded and the faster threads get their results discarded. Race conditions generally lead to incorrect and unpredictable results, so they must be avoided. There are two fundamental approaches to resolving race conditions – mutexes and parallel reduction. In this episode we will demonstrate mutexes. In some situations, mutexes are the only way to make a parallel application with race conditions to produce correct results. However, if used incorrectly, mutexes can have a negative effect on performance. We will discuss this in more detail in this and the next episode, where we will talk about parallel reduction. Let's see how we can use the OpenMP mutex called critical section to stabilize the performance of the application. Mutex is short for mutual exclusion. The meaning of this is that the critical section allows one thread to execute a piece of code while the other threads are excluded from this code. In our code, we insert the statement pragma OMP critical in the parallel region and wrap its scope around the line that causes the race. The meaning of this pragma is that when one thread enters the critical section, all other threads that reach the entrance of the critical section must spin and wait for the mutex to be released. Our execution diagram now has a new property. While thread 1 is modifying the shared variable, thread 2 waits. Running this code produces correct results. However, the code runs very slowly because it is essentially serialized. Furthermore, enforcement of the mutex requires a lot of resources, so the code in fact may run slower than if the loop was single-threaded. Using a critical section is obviously overkill for this code. However, in other situations, critical sections may be justified, especially when they are not used inside the innermost loop. Critical sections are a heavyweight mutex. They allow the programmer to protect arbitrarily large code sections, however, the performance overhead of critical sections is relatively large. There is a lightweight mutex in OpenMP, 
which may be used to protect race conditions, on a single scalar variable. This lightweight mutex is known as atomic operations. To apply the atomic mutex to our example application, we have to insert the statement pragma OMP atomic before the line that increments the variable sum. This statement guarantees that when multiple threads execute this line concurrently, the final result will be correct. Some serialization may occur, however, its overhead will be smaller than with a critical section. We can verify by experiments that atomic operations also lead to poor performance in this specific code. However, they may be justified in other situations, especially when they are used outside the innermost loop. The difference between critical sections and atomic operations is that atomics are applicable to only a single line of code that performs a read, write, update or capture operations on a single scalar variable. Operators that can be protected with atomics are assignments, increments, addition, multiplication, division and binary operations. No tricks are allowed to extend the applicability of atomic operations. For instance, operations on variables that have the type of a class and overload of operators is not compatible with atomic mutexes. We use the critical section and atomic operations in our example code um, in a way that leads to correct results but suboptimal performance. In the next section, we'll learn about parallel reduction and about using mutexes in a way that produces both correct results and good performance. Thank you for tuning in and I hope to see you in the next episode.